Hello, hi guys. This is your girl Destiny, and I am up. And it is quite late here, but I got this message that I want to share with you guys out here. So, if this is your first time coming to my YouTube channel, Destiny Forever Walks, guess what, guys? You have a personal invitation to come in and sit with me and watch this video and then go and watch all of my videos. But I got a message tonight. So welcome everyone into the room and let's get into this because this is a how-to video. How-to video. And the title of this video is, it's gonna blow your mind people. So you cannot turn this off. You're going to have to listen to this to the very entirety because I'm going to give you tips and ways how to fire your boss. If you're still working in that workplace and you're working under control of other people manipulating you, not sticking up for you, undermining your experience, then you need to hear and listen to this message tonight how to fire your boss and I'm going to give you some real deep heavy information before I give you the tips on how to fire your boss but first we got to lay a solid foundation people and you got to really get this that's why it's so important that you don't touch that dial do not touch that button to turn this message off because this could change your entire life this could, change, this could change your work relationship on your job and can empower you to step out there and become your own boss. I'm diving deep right now. Let's go and go with me. Stay with me, okay? Again, the topic is how to fire your boss. Now, my people, you're going to have to regain your power at work. Oh, I know we've been broken down by a lot of things that our bosses do to us. And a lot of times, like I said, we have these bosses that don't stick up with us. They always, you know, complain about this and that. They never <laughs> hardly ever give us praise. But you gotta regain your power at work. Work is making people miserable. But more so, it's the people that you work with or the people that you are around in your job or your bosses, those that you're working for or the people that is around you, that is actually what's making you miserable at work. More than 50% of Americans are looking for a new job. And this is a daily thing, people. Employees are not the only ones, though, that are suffering. But also, there are managers that are being blamed for everyone and for everything that isn't right. So, that's why the bosses, they are taking their frustrations out on you because they in a locked up situation because they got bosses that's coming down on them and bringing the hammer down on them and you know their jobs is at, at, is at a state and you know it's like their livelihoods on the line sometimes so they gotta come down on us and get hard on us it's not fair and it's definitely not right but we don't have to put up with it either we can better ourselves and regain our power and move on beyond that. Take your power back that you've given over to these bosses to maneuver, manipulate, control, and dominate your life and your time at work. And a lot of times they'd be on the phone calling you, we come in early, could you stay late? Hey, we ain't got to go through all that, people. Because a lot of times they take frustrations out on you because they are getting frustrations from their upper management. So people listen, 
workplace frustration is a symptom of a deeper crisis. And the whole work relationship, I'm telling you guys, it is broken. I'm sure many of y'all have witnessed that. The whole work relationship is broken. And before you quit your job, now listen, pause. Get your head on straight. Level up. Make sure you got a plan B in place. Make sure you got your ducks in place. You make sure that you already done thought things out. You done laid it out. You got people that's supporting you. You got the money that's going to back you. Pause before you quit. And think and say to yourself, what are you going to do to improve things at work if I'm going to stay there? And if you decide to stay there, blaming your frustrations back on your frustrated manager, it's not going to solve your problem. Your boss is not the only one that has the power to change things. You got to know that. Because they say they're your boss and they're your superior or they are your CEO, whatever they call themselves. They are not the only one that has the power to change things, my people. You have to leverage and you have to level up and you have the leverage to do it yourself. So use it. Stop letting people tell you you don't have no power. You don't have no place. You don't have no voice. Stop it. Letting these bosses manipulate and control you and putting fear factors in you. You're afraid you're going to lose that little five, ten, that little nine dollar hour job, a ten dollar hour job, I don't care if it's sixteen dollar hour job, twenty dollars. If people are mistreating you and you're not being treated properly and fairly, it ain't worth a hill of beans. The creator God will provide for you a job and a means of survival till you can start your own business. So you have the leverage too, as just as much leverage and power as you that boss sits there and throw things at you all day. You have your power. If you use it, you can fire your boss. Or for starters, listen, my people, fire the boss-employee relationship that is making you so frustrated. Do you get what I'm saying? You can fire the boss-employee relationship, that, that relationship between you and your boss. That is making you so frustrated. You got the power to do that. You'll never get what you deserve. Only what you have the leverage to negotiate. So work like any other relationship. That's what work is like. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> work, my people, is like any other relationship. And guess what? It's a two-way street as well. Each part has an equal share in making things work. And so this is what I call it. I call it the 50-50 rule. So you can't blame your boss for everything because he or she is also responsible for his or her 50%. But then what about your part? There's a 50% on your end too. So what about your part? But then on the other hand, my people, there are a lot of weak and unsupported bosses that blames their employees for every problem that goes wrong, for every situation that's on the job. They're not doing this right. They're not doing that right. They're not strong enough here. They're not supportive here. They're constantly blaming them. And they will not stand behind their employees. They will not praise their employees employees or support their best interests and if you're in a situation like that and continues keep going on and on for years it's time to make an ultimate change get the hell out of there my people trust the universe god he's gonna take care of you but like i said get everything lined up plan before you make that faith that leap that giant quantum leap of faith listen i'm gonna give you a scenario here a successful marriage or even a friendship guess what it's gonna depend on both parties so if it's working it is because both sides are doing their 50% 
And if it's not working, okay, reversing that situation, then it's a shared responsibility. So your boss got their 50%, hey, you the employee, you have your 50%. It's a shared responsibility that you both should be working at this together. And the same happens with a toxic relationship. The same scenario. It takes two to suffer it, my people. And if you are engaged in one of those kind of situations, whether it's a marriage or whatever it is, a, a, a poor job relationship with your boss, my people, you can leverage yourself up and you can trust the universe, God, to set your life in the right path that you need to go so you can start your own business. Don't be afraid, my people. And I tell you a lot of times when you have that fear factor coming against you and you're so afraid, that's the time you step out in your fear. You do it afraid. And when you do it afraid, things will manifest itself so much quicker. So my people, it takes two to suffer it. If you are engaged in one of that type of relationship, as I explained about the boss relationship or a relationship with him, that you're with a, a, a partner or mate or spouse or whatever, it takes two. I am also talking about this sorry personal relationship that you're in or this sorry boss employee relationship that's explained before, okay? So listen, what, let me tell you this. You can break the contract and we always sign ourselves some kind of contract, fill in an application, give my resume, give my whole life, and we already signed this contract. Now you into this relationship with this job or you into the relationship with this marriage or whatever. We already them sign the relationship, the contract. So you can break the contract and you can get out of it. So you have to regain your power back. Challenge yourself. And then you start firing the people. When you start fire, firing those things that no longer serves your purpose, my people, or your high standard qualities, because you've got a lot of qualities that can back you up so much greater than what they're giving you credit for on that job. But you got to do your part. And you acknowledge your leverage. Knowledge, acknowledge your leverage. You got to speak up and then you got to negotiate. And guess what? If none of that works, my people, then that boss or that controller or whoever it is that situation that you're in, I'm talking about the boss relationship now with their employee. My people, guess what? Buy the hell out of them. <laughs> and then you embrace your power to drive change. Because change is not change until it's changed. And you have the power within you to change any situation in your life. If you don't like the relationship that you're in, the job that you're in, or the people that are around you that manipulate and control you, you have the power to change that. So, let's get to the good part now. How to fire your current boss. Yay, destiny! You finally get into what I've been waiting for all this time. You better listen. Don't turn it off. I'm serious. Because I'm sick and tired of a lot of situations and things going on. I know a lot of people are feeling the very same thing, but you just haven't stepped out in your power and say, I'm taking back my power and I'm taking about I'm taking back who I really am. I am better than this. I am better who they give me credit to. Shut up, Destiny. Give us those how-tos. Because I want to fire my current boss. Okay, let me listen. How to fire your current boss. Listen. Reframe your role, my people. Move from the victim to taking responsibility for your 50% share. Then you ask yourself and assess your life say, hey, what can you improve? Hey, what can I improve? Are you blaming your boss for the whole relationship, people? Then what behaviors can you adjust? Okay, reframe your role. 
That was number one. Number two, my people, you take the first step. Don't wait for your boss to start the conversation because they always going, yeah, 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 because they always think they got the answers. They know a thing and you're supposed to be a little peon and you're not supposed to say nothing, have an opinion. Don't let them take the control over the conversation. Don't wait for your boss to start the conversation. Unfortunately, most bosses they tend to address their employees when things are not going well they never come in most of the time and say oh wow wonderful great job great success things are changing it's getting better you're doing a marvelous fantastic job no it's always coming down with criticism you ain't doing this right and we're at this low level this numbers are low and things it's just things it's always complaints but my people the one who starts the conversation has more leverage. You be that person. You beat your boss to the punch. You speak up first. That turns the power and the control back to you. Don't worry about it. The creator of God will take care of you. Number three, speak up people. Speak up. Have you ever mentioned to your boss that you weren't happy with your working relationship? And all of us don't. We just go every day, day and being miserable and sad and depressed. And it's just taking a whole lot of energy away from us. And we just begin to hate our jobs. We hate the employees that's working with side of us. We don't want to see the boss when it comes in. But, but we're not speaking up and expressing our feelings. Expressing that we are not happy in the relationship that we're in. So my people, being transparent... It will earn your respect. You got to show your feelings. You got to talk about it. Leaders, my people, they are my employees that are mature and, and they are very brave. Leaders, your boss, your CEOs, or whoever they are, supervisors, they will admire their employees that are mature and brave. So when you speak up, guess what? You will show your commitment to making things better you will show your commitment that you are ready for a change your boss is going to see that number four my people ignore the fights people at work get entangled into ego driven relationships that gets them nowhere i'm not saying you're fighting the war and get to each other bittering and they're supposed to be on the same team but they can't work together we got one team member over here and they're warring with another team member over here and they're talking about them and they're playing false games boss coming in taking sizes and choosing which person they want to give more attention and credit to and praise to and all that and responsibilities and more money guys it's a bunch of shit going on with y'all it's not fair but ignore the fights you let the creator god who said Vengeance is mine. I will repay. People at work, they get in so many, so much entangled relationships that is ego-driven. And that gets them nowhere, people. Your boss, just like you, are human. They ain't no superior over you. They are human just like you. So listen, be empathetic. Yes, there are many assholes, I'm telling you, that need to be fired. <laughs> really. They need to have the paper sign in. Hey, send them on their way. But sometimes people are going through rough times. And that's why sometimes they act that freaking hell like they do because but they it's not fair, but they turn it all back on to other people because that's what misery loves company. Remember that. And they become so rough and raw and ridiculous because they are in a place where they feel like they are stressed out themselves. So my people, if you can do this, don't take it personal. Avoid the clash. But you can move your little ass out of there. I'm serious. You can get yourself up out of there. And if so, you can get yourself out. You see that, hey, it's my time to take that quantum leap of faith now. I got everything working for me. The creator is working in, in my behalf. Baby, you go and you do it. Get out of there and you start 
something that you know that's going to bring you joy every day, that's going to bring you happiness every day, that's going to create you the environment that you're going to work in. Just do it. You can decide to stay under different conditions or you can rewrite the rules of divorcement and serve the papers on them dang on bosses out there. I'm telling you, you can. Write your own rules, people, and you tell your boss that I'm wrong. Rewriting some rules. I know you got your rules here, but I got mine too. I'm rewriting my rules. And if it don't match up with mine and I continue to keep going through this and things not getting better, I have my divorcement papers to you. So write your own rules and tell your boss that in order to succeed in your new role, in your new role, this is how you want to play the game. You're not playing it on their terms all the time. Being that little puppy on the string that they pull. That little silent partner in this, it's a 50-50%. You just tell them that you want to play things equally and fairly. And this is how you want to play it. And the things that you need, this is what I need, this is what I need. And most of all, you're going to need their support. You're going to need their respect. You're going to need their encouragement. You're going to need them to recognize you and to evaluate you fairly and equally. Once again, my people, I'm telling you, use your leverage. Your leverage. Use it, my people. It's time to level up. And I think this may be number six, people. Start your own business. Self-reflection will help you realize what's really causing your frustration. And in my case, my people, let me tell you this. At some point in my career, I realized no boss would ever give me the freedom that I was looking for. And I wanted to run a business with a complete room for experimentation. I want to explore and step out beyond. And without having these little rules, I can't go no further this. I like have having all these boundaries around me. I could not break the limits. I want to go way beyond my imagination and my mind, which I know is, is a lot deeper than me working on the uh, 95 job. And so that's why you have to launch your own business, your own opportunities. And then you follow your path. But if you don't, my people, then avoid blaming your boss because there ain't nobody fault but yours. You know what I'm saying? You can't blame that boss if you decide that hey you're not gonna go beyond that and follow that path and, and step beyond that fear and move into that place you know that you have the power within you to to stand up there and successfully make this happen then you can't blame nobody but your daggone self i'm so sad and sorry to say it but it's real so i think it's number seven my people find another job if none of the above works, only then, my people, <laughs> move the hell on, move on. Quitting should never be the first option, though. Run away from a fire without trying to put it out first, man, it's not smart at all. It is definitely not smart. You will have to face new fires in every new job that you land. So, if you or your decision is to go and move on into something else and leave that job, guess what? Then try to, to fix what you have to fix and then move on. But if you decide that you're gonna stay there, make your decision to stay there, then you're gonna have to fix that relationship with your boss before you slam the door. Move on, my people. You can move on. If your decision is to go and you have the right to make that decision and that choice you have the right to govern and, 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 and control your own life make that decision i'm leaving but you go and you make it right with that boss you make sure that really that relationship between your boss is back on the level and then you shut the door and move on now people Let's talk about stretch, reflect, and grow. 
Now this stretch I'm talking about is stretching your faith and stretching your abilities and your capabilities and your, your power within you. This stretch is not easy, but suffering a relationship that's not working, my people, is so much worse. So you want to stretch uh, everything within inside of you that you have been crumped down, you have been mashed down, you have been packed down, because it's just like cramming everything inside of a jar with a lid on it, and they've been screwing you, and they've not letting anything come out, so you got to now bust the lid and just break out of that. So you can start moving, growing to your higher self, stretching, reflex, reflecting, and growing. So the stretch is not easy. But suffering a relationship that is not working my people is so much worse. So let me give you some tips on that. First, you got to get ready. Do your homework. Don't just ask for your boss to change, then show what you are willing to change yourself. Number two, my people, what's your leverage in your current job and how can you use it in a non-threatened way? And number three, what's preventing you from speaking up? What's preventing you from voicing your opinion? What is your worst fear? Please answer that. What is your worst fear? What is that continues to hold you back that's keeping your mouth shut and allowing people to continue to manipulate and control you? And the last one, number four. If you already tried to fix things, then ask yourself, have I tried enough? Have I tried enough? If you already have tried to fix these things and fix these situations and make amends with your boss and make amends within your job, but it just seems like it's just not working and things just seem to keep getting worse, stop and breathe. Allow your positive thoughts to come forth and you ask yourself, have I tried enough? And be totally, absolutely honest with yourself. And if you're tried enough, pat yourself on the back and be proud of it, whether people see it or not, whether they acknowledge it or not, get the hell out and move on, my people. You are far greater than what people give you credit for. You got more power within you. You are more wiser. You have more wisdom and knowledge than you can ever imagine because all your truth lies with inside of you. Let me say this. But before you go, my people, listen. You're leaving now. You made a decision. I'm gone. Everything is in place. You already got your plan B already. Up and going. You got your backbone standing behind you with your back and supporting you. Creator God has got you. So before you go, change happens one stretch at a time. Change is not change until it's changed. But change happens one stretch at a time. So do this, my people, every day. Do daily exercises to grow beyond your comfort zone. No pain, they say, no gain. So if you're hurting in a poor job relationship right now at this moment, then just trust the pain and trust the discomfort for things are about to change for the better. Oh my goodness, something is coming down the pipe. That is so much better than you ever can imagine. Your life is about to change for the best. And then you say hello to your new boss. And that just may be you. How to buy your boss. You got it, my people. I'll see you in the next video. Comment below in the comment box and let me know if this video has helped you. Let me know if these how-to steps has help you to access the things that's going on in your life with your boss and your relationship on your job with your boss and your employees and how has this has start to turn the tables around so you can start doing things in your 50% of the, the relationship that the boss and you have because each one of you have 50% the boss and you have your 50% you have your power baby you have the right to talk don't let people tell you that you listen, you know, you can't talk. You have 50%.
as just as much as your boss do. Because that boss has a boss. If that boss is not doing what they need to do for you and standing by your side, you can go to their boss. And if that boss is not doing anything to help you, that boss has a boss. Everybody has a boss. Namaste. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for listening to my message, watching my videos, commenting. And thank you for sending love and shout out to Destiny. Namaste, my people. Listen to this video, please. How to fire your boss. Namaste. Good night.